Hi guys, welcome to Zip9. In this video, I um, we discuss na tayo isang math challenge problem. Now, this is actually a math challenge problem uh, ng 2019, grade 7, division levels, no? Sabi natin, uh, sabi ng question, if n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to 2, 1, 2 times 1, what is the remainder of 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial all the way to 2019 factorial is divided by 15. Okay, so bago natin itakal yung problem, dapat malinaw muna sa inyo kung ano bibig sabi ng factorial notation. No? So yung factorial notation, it's, it's just a uh, notation no? that's uh, which means the product of n and all the integers below it up to 1. So halimbawa 5 factorial or down to 1 sorry. 5 factorial is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 whatever that product is. No? Pag sinabi mong 3 factorial it's 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 6. Pag sinabi mong 8 factorial that's 8 times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng factorial notation. Pangalawa, tinatanong natin uh, yung remainder. Dapat alam nyo rin yung uh, property ng mga remainders that if you have a number, for example, 103, pwede mo yan i-break, i-decompose, um, no? For example, 103. 3 divided by 6. No? Alam mo na ang 60 divided by 6. So sa 103, I'll find the remainder of 103 divided by 6. So alam mo na ang 103, ang 60. So meron pa tayong 43. Alam mo rin na ang 30 ay uh, divisible by 6. So 90 na yan. Pwede ba tayong kumuha ng ilan na tira? 13, no? And sa 13, divisible ang 12. Uh, yeah, by 6. So, 12, 1 na lang. So, if these numbers are divisible by 6, you can actually ignore them. Yung matitira yun yung remainder. No? So, gagamitin natin yung property na yan ng, ng uh, remainder para isolve ito. No? Okay. So, ano ang ano ang sabi natin sa 4 factorial? No? 1 factorial is just 1. Tapos yung 2 factorial is just 2 times 1. 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. Um, 4 factorial is just 5 times 4. Sorry. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Pag inad ko lahat yan. No? Pag inad ko lahat yan. Pag inad ko yan. Pag inad ko yan. Hanggang 2019. Napakalaki, no? Ay... Ano kaya yung remainder? If we divide that by 15. If we divide the sum by 15. No? So, but well, you don't have to add. No? Definitely, hindi kayo mag-add lahat. Pero kung gusto nyo yung pag-isipan, pwede yung pag-isipan. Pwede yung post yung video. No? Okay, so, um, tutuloy ko na, no? I notice that 5 factorial, no? is divisible by 15. Bakit siya divisible by 15? Kasi meron siyang factor na 5 and 3. No? Ibig sabihin, yung 5 factorial, you can rewrite that as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 15. Pwede mong i-multiply itong dalawang to Times 4 times 2 times 1. So, ibig sabihin, any, any uh, factorial na meron siyang 5 and 3 together, uh, divisible siya by 15. 
So katulad natin kanina, ng ginawa natin kanina, if 60 is divisible by 6, at hinahanap natin yung remainder, you can just cross this out, no? Kasi 0 naman ang remainder dyan. So ang, halimbawa 67, kung sabi natin 64, 64 divided by 6, Maging 60 plus 4 yan, di ba? And 60 is divisible by 6. So, you can just ignore it. So, pwede mong kunin yung 4 na lang, which is the remainder. So, ito, uh, 5 factorial is, yung 5 factorial is divisible by 15. So, wala na yan. No? And in fact, no, lahat-lahat ng mas mataas, no? Kasi yung, yung 6 factorial will, will still have 5 and 3, di ba? Kasi mas malaki nga yung pinanggalingan niya eh. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So, 5 may 5 and 3 pa rin siya. So, divisible siya by 15. Ganun din yung 7 factorial. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Times 2 times 1. So, may, may 5 and 3 pa rin. Ibig sabihin, lahat to wala na yan. Hanggang 2019. Hindi mo na kailangan problemahin yan. Dahil lahat yan ay divisible by 15. Which means na ito na lang yung paproblemahin natin. Yung 4 factorial pababa. So this is equal to 1. Ang 2 times 1 is just 2. Tapos 3 times 2 times 1 is just 6. And 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is just 24. So meaning, ang hanapin lang natin ay 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial and you divide natin yan by 15 and see what's the remainder. No? So, ang 1 factorial from here, we have 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 24. That is equal to uh, 33. And when you divide 33 by 15, the remainder is, obvious naman, di ba? The remainder, the remainder is 3. Okay? So, dalawang 15, 30. May matitirang 3. Okay, so the correct answer is 3. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa ating uh, maiksing uh, tutorial, no, and um, sana ay natuwa kayo dahil uh, mukhang mahirap na problem pero napakadali lang pala. Okay, uh, we just uh, need a little intuition, um, little creativity, no, uh, para masolve yung mga ganitong klase ng problems. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay dito sa SIP9. Gusto kayo invite sa ating YouTube channel youtube.com slash users slash 9 ph Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next video.